Hello everyone, so today I've got an unusual Ford Explorer here with me. You might be wondering why I call this unusual. Today I'll tell you why and all you need to know about this issue. I'm at the bus here and you are watching Kanoroma. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we have plenty of car content coming your way. Now let's start with how the Ford Explorer began its journey. Think about it. Back in those days when people needed to buy a large-size family SUV, the first vehicle that came to mind then was the American branch because they had the long history for making very reliable, durable and very versatile SUVs back then. But all of a sudden, that part of the market started declining. The problem was people wanted a car-like SUV just like the Islander, unlike the kind of SUVs Ford were making at that time. But wait, before I go any further, let me explain the two major differences a vehicle body is being built. We have the car-like unibody and the truck-like body on frame. For a unibody construction, there is no separate frame. They are all constructed together. All cars, van, and crossover SUVs are built this way. The body on frame design provides a better off-road capability and towing performance. But this body on frame design is heavier, so it isn't as fuel efficient as the unibody car-like design. The unibody design provides a more durable and rugged compartment for driver and passengers. But this design does not provide off-road capability and maximum towing capacity, unlike the truck-like design. And that led to a complete redesign. Making Ford switch from a traditional truck-like SUV to a more unibody car-like design. The reasons for this was to improve ride quality, handling, better fuel economy, and a usable interior space. So what makes this Explorer so different? Explorer has been known to manufacturing large-size SUV, capable of off-road ventures with a more durable exterior build and a massive towing capacity. But they had to leave all that behind to remain in the competition. So I have got a 2011 Ford Explorer and a 2017 Ford Explorer. Let's find out the differences and similarities between these two SUVs. So this I have here is a 2011 Ford Explorer and there is a significant difference between these two. Overall, the 2017 looks much nicer but I seem to prefer the headlights on the 2011 with that single HID lamp which I think really looks nice on it. They are literally identical at the side. Both are sitting on 20 inch alloy wheels. And they've got this chrome accenting on the door and those that just gives it that luxury feel and both are equipped with um, keyless entry and the blind spot monitoring but it's at the rear that there's a really different there's a huge difference from the rear let's go to the rear and see what it's like taking a look at the 2017 ford explorer at the rear there are noticeable differences between these two the 2017 gets a two-tone rear bumper color unlike the 2011 that remains black there are also changes in the rear lights both get dual exhaust pipe and both are limited so that tells you that they are evenly matched so you should expect the top line luxury from both of them overall the 2017 looks the nicest now let's check out what the interior is like so i am in the 2011 ford explorer and it surprisingly has a well put together interior it has a really nice leather up steering rooms and buttons on it to control things like your bluetooth navigation and audio system I like how simple the touchscreen display is and I like this touch sensitive uh, buttons here to control things like your climate control. And it's got a very comfortable seat too. There is a ton of room to sit seven adults comfortably in this car. And it has a usable uh, interior space if you want to load items into it. Now let's check out what the interior is like in the 2017 Ford Explorer. Inside the 2017 Ford Explorer, there are minor differences between these two. It looks much more luxurious in here compared to the uh, design that we found in the 2011. The only significant areas here are the gauge cluster, which looks much nicer here on the 2007. Instead of the plastic finish used in the 2011, this gets aluminum on the door panel, center console, and even the air vent. And it's got wood trim everywhere around it. It's a much nicer place to be in anyway. It's a much nicer place to be. So now let's talk numbers. These cars I have here are powered by 3.5 liter V6 engine pushing out 290 horsepower. 
But if you want the four cylinder, there is also a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that pushes out 240 horsepower. So the Ford Explorer is an high versatile vehicle loaded with lots of high tech features compared to its rivals. This fifth generation Ford Explorer is although seen as unusual, but it does everything better than the model it replaced. And even if it had to lose its iconic truck-like capabilities to compete with some very fierce competitions. Owning the fifth generation is an excellent choice, and I think it looks much nicer inside and outside compared to its more expensive rival. Parts are very durable, but are not so easy to come by. So now let's jump into conclusion. If you are out there looking for an highly versatile family size SUV that combines luxury, technology, and style, well, this is the right car for you. And if you would like to see an exclusive head-to-head -head comparison between these two, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss another upload like this. I'll see you in my next video.